So hello there, let's have a look at the Salmia Cynthia caterpillars in the aerarium where we feed them with Ligustrum vulgare. Um, they are pretty big now as you can see very soon and I already started to place some artificial um, helping for them for the production of the cocoon. I, you can make something like this with with uh, paper, cardboard or you can do something like this with wood sticks so they can go in and place the cocoon where they find it suitable for them uh, to make it. So I already placed something in here because as you can see here this is uh, crowded with L5 stage uh, caterpillars now here and they are also pretty big and if we want we can also see how heavy they are so that we can uh, check whether they grow well and big here all right and then we of course have to uh, clean the whole thing and take out all the stuff uh, with the old uh, plant material that are completely uh, harvested by the caterpillars. So I try to take out this one just to show you how perfect they, they eat every single leaf of these twigs is eaten and here you see the and here you see the big L5 Larry they they are just there of course they try to find some more leaves but there aren't any leaves anymore here so that's the moment but we don't have to miss to change the food for them because if they stay too long without new leaves they will uh, die and they don't they won't to pay then because they don't have enough energy to for the pupation process so now we have to be careful here when I want to take them away we have two more so so you hear that's what you can see now here this this uh, pupa started to be slightly yellowish I don't know whether you can see it in comparison with this one that the bigger one has a slightly yellowish tone that means that she's on the way uh, to pupation and also this uh, caterpillar let's see how heavy it is I will have to zero my weight scale here and then I take her away put her on the weight scale she's 5.3 grams that's a good weight for uh, Salmiaritini that is cultivated here artificially on Ligustrum I mean in in the normal uh, cultures of Salmio uh, Cynthia Ritini they, they will be around 6 maximum a little bit more than 6 gram so that's a pretty good result here for our breeding and rearing project of Salmio Cynthia uh, they are big and they have you see eaten everything up and I have to pre I have prepared some more material here in the back as you can see for them to eat but first I have to take out all the material and all the, the, the eaten up twigs that I have here but also I have a cage with the with more of the material here also I placed some plants of Prunus laurotherasus just to see whether they will accept also another plant if they have not enough food anymore on their original plants like here you see also this is eaten up completely I just can harvest the larva here by cutting away some of the stems 
and of course I can bring them back afterwards on the fresh leaves of the fresh plant that, that I prepare for them and I try to take them away carefully here so I don't squash them because they can they can uh, they have this these fingers on the back of the body where they can uh, where they can uh, hold themselves very very good to the stems uh, here if you have a look here uh, let's see whether we can show it to you um, where is it here on the back of the body you see this like a two like two fingers that go a little bit around the twig so with this one they can keep very good right now you see it, it moves a little bit and now it holds again so here on the back they can they can hold very well to this twig so because when it's a, a windy a, a windy surrounding they don't fall down from these twigs when they are in high up in a, in a tree canopy and they don't want to fa fall down to the to, to the bottom to the forest floor because they would die there because a lot of the, of their enemies they wait only for them to fall down so also here you see all filled with this big fat also this one seems already a little bit yellowish like it would be waiting uh, to go into pupation uh, probably it's a bit difficult to see here in this film because it, uh, the tone they change to is not very clear it's only a slightly yellowish uh, color of the body and but of course one of the of the clear signs for them is when they start crawling around and away from the father plant so that's the clear sign they are looking for a place like this one to go in and, pr and produce their hair to cool so what we do here more now we can take out the whole the whole box here with all the rest of the of the caterpillars some fell down here already I just collect them and here I have some fresh twigs I just take them away but I can show you they are <laughs> crowded did fresh week they are crowded with all this L5 big fat L5 stage and for this this one I will just leave like this and here you see this is Brunus Lauro Cerasus also here we see some uh, big and nice uh, caterpillars so also these boxes we will keep and and give them some new ones so they can also if they like to change to another fodder plant here they can and they can choose themselves which plant they like more here see some dried out uh, twigs so that here this kind of caterpillars I have to rescue because if they would stay here so, um, they would die and also here this seems a little bit yellowish so this is also I don't know whether you can see it but the slight the tone of the of the the tone of the larva start uh, caterpillars changes a little bit too yellowish that's a sign for them that they are on their way to pupation so we will see with whether this or some others uh, are pupating now in the next few uh, days and here you see everything completely eaten up some we see here some small caterpillars that we have to rescue so that we don't throw them away with all the used up fodder also here there's an L5 on this twig I take them away also here's one and now here's one and as you can see the 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 foot the 
excrements pellets they are pretty big now in this L5 stage they are really uh, big and they eat a lot of food it's said that 80% of all the food that a uh, caterpillar is eating it eats in the L5 stage so in the last stage they they need 80% of the whole food they eat during the life so that's really true and it also can be a problem because then you have to pay attention that you don't run out of fresh food especially here in the winter time Miley Gustrum Bulgare uh, bush is nearly finished now only some leaves are left but of course I will try to give them the rest of this uh, of these fresh twigs of my ligustrum bush so they can survive here and so that we have a lot of beautiful and nice um, adults that can emerge and that we can go on with our breeding process so that we have a next generation. Also here you see it's all filled with this with this pellet material. So and now new foods coming here, all these uh, twigs that I found on my little ligustrum bush in my garden and tomorrow I think it will be finished because next time I have to feed them I don't have any food for them anymore from my ligustrum bush. I have to go with my car to other places where I know that there are uh, fresh and green uh, twigs of ligustrum and then I go there and cut them. So with this I also can help the neighbors because they have to cut these shrubs anyway because uh, they grow very well here and very big here. And you have to cut them once or twice a year anyway. So now this is all the material that goes back. And all my new and fresh leaves of ligustum. And let's see what happens. I guess in two days we see the first of these uh, caterpillars starting to pupate and uh, making their cocoon. I hope in one of my uh, prepared artificial cocoon uh, building uh, structures here. Comment C. Thanks for watching.